how to do stuff in Discord Bot Maker. First, make your project. Next, we'll go into the settings to register the bot with a project. Go into Discord site, we can create an app, give it a name, give it a sexy icon, create it, then turn it into a bot. Copy the token and the client ID into the project, then invite the bot using the link. And there it is. Next, let's create a command. We'll make a ping command that makes the bot say pong, like so. We can now run the bot, and by using a command in your own custom tag, we can run and make the pong thing happen in the server. Next, let's make a command that creates a green role. We'll use the create role action to create the role, and then we'll send a message to inform the user that the role has been created. So now once we run the command, we can see our green role right here. Let's get more customizable though. How about a command that creates a role with the color defined in the command? We'll first use the store command params to store a command parameter into what's known as a variable. We'll name this variable color for now. In the create role action, you can access this variable using a template literal format by just doing a dollar sign and the swirly brackets. Within there, we'll input temp bars, then color to reference our variable. We can also use this in the message in order to inform the user of the exact color that was sent. So now let's use an online color picker to choose our color and then use it in the command. Now we, now we have a pink roll, so our bot can finally express itself. Enough with commands though, let's move on to events. Events will call actions based off of certain events that may occur in the server. For example, we can call some actions when a member joins a server in order to welcome them. To start, events provide the ability to assign a temporary variable to have a value based on the event. In this example, we can store the member that joins. We'll just call them member. Now in a send message action, we'll place this temp variable containing the member in the message to mention them. So let's keep an eye on our default channel and see what happens when a person joins. Yeah, we did it. Alright, so I guess it's about time we do something a bit more complex. A leveling system. We'll make a leveling system that levels users based on the amount of messages they send. For this, we'll need the onAnyMessage event. We'll store the message in the variable called msg. First, we'll get the author of the message using the store message info and store them into a variable called member. Next, we'll add some permanent data to this member using the control member data action. We'll call this data exp and add one to it. After that, let's use the check member data to create a condition. If the exp data from the member is equal to 5, we'll continue the actions, otherwise, we'll stop the sequence. So if the exp is 5, we'll then call actions to add one to another data called level, and we'll set exp back to 0. Finally, we'll send a message informing the member that they have risen to a new level. We can access a member's data by using the member itself through a temporary variable, then dot data, then within the parentheses and the quotes, we'll input the name of the data, so for example, level, just like that. Now for every five messages, we should level up. Let's see how it goes. And, yep, there we go, working pretty good for me. We can also make a command that gives us our level. Since we're creating a command, we can use the member to access the command author's data immediately. So now, as you can see, the command sends us the level of the author. Now let's say you want to create an exp curve for the leveling. This will make it so the amount of exp required for each level is different as opposed to being the constant 5. To do so, you need to change the check member data to have a formula as opposed to the just constant 5 by just using this thing right here. And as you can see, I'm accessing the member's current level and using that in some sort of formula where we add 5 and multiply by 2 to generate the amount of exp required for the next level. But enough of that leveling stuff, let's move on to images. To send an image from your project, first store it into the resources folder like this. Next, we'll create a command called OW. We'll use the create image action to get the local file from the machine and store it as an object in a variable. We'll call this variable IMG. We can then use the send image action to send this image into the channel. A message may also be included like this. So now when we use the OW command, a picture of an OW will be sent like so. Let's try and add some effects to this image. For example, before sending the image, we can use apply image effect to make the image grayscale. So now our picture does not have any colors. Yay. We can also draw text on the image using the draw text on image action. For this, you'll need to provide a .fnt file. By default, your project will have one called Asimov, but if you want to use your own font with a custom size, family, outline, etc., you'll need to generate one with a program such as Hiero. Anyway, let's set this text to position and what the text will say on the image. And so, and now here we go. Our owl is now saying he is Mr. Lyle. You can also combine this with the leveling system to make some pretty cool level up messages. <laughs> How would you do that, you ask? 
Well, that's up. Well, that's up for you to discover. And also, I, I don't want to work on this video anymore. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy and look forward to Discord Bot Maker. Goodbye for now.